Breaking news, y'all. Breaking news. We cannot talk about the Colorado loss. We can't talk about how bad Colorado got beat down. When people, I know a lot of y'all Colorado uh, fans or, or, or whatever, bandwagoners, whatever y'all want to call us. You know, a lot of people going to try to hate on you this week, right? And talk. As soon as they start trying to talk bad, now we can talk about the Miami-Denver game. Oh, man, hey, man, damn that Colorado game. Did you see how Miami beat Denver? Man, damn, they ain't scored that many points in 100 years in the NFL. The same, same state, Denver, Colorado, and Boulder. You know what I'm saying? So, so now, now we don't we don't have to have to worry about taking out this heat, all the, all this hate from folks trying to talk about how bad we lost to Oregon. We can just start talking about Russell Wilson and Miami and how bad they lost, like seventy points. Like this, just talk about that, y'all. So we off the hook, y'all. We off the hook. And and I want y'all to know something. I made a video when Coach Prime started, when he accepted the job, before he even put his hat on. Well, maybe he had his hat on, he walked into the press conference. But before he was on the field, on the sideline, I made a video. And I'm going to try to find that video and, and, and see can I tag it on here. I said, Coach Prime... He's going to have Warren Sapp and Terrell Owens on his coaching staff. And somebody asked um, Coach Prime about it, and he was like, no, nah, man, people lying, blah, 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 blah. So because at that point in time, they didn't have all their stuff together. He knew they had to go through the process. They didn't have their paperwork. So Sapp already said he getting his paperwork. Terrell Owens has been hanging around. Y'all know Terrell Owens love football. He in he in great shape. Dion's still in, in, in good shape now. Like these dudes love football and, and and the whole process of it, right? So now with these three Hall of Famers walking into these high schools to try to get these top recruits. And with that good recruiter they got, Nick Williams. It's finna it's finna turn into a it's going to turn into something. The Miami. Oh, I already said this already. It's going to turn into the Miami. You remember that great Miami team? They were like, this is the best team ever. That's what Coach Prime is going to have in Boulder. And it's going to happen after his sons leave. After like It's going to happen after Travis gone. Y'all got to understand what I'm telling y'all. After Travis leave, after Shadur leave, Colorado is going to have a team that's so talented. Like, y'all think they're going to they gonna average 10 million views a game. Coach Prime, and I've said this, is going to be the highest paid coach in college football from the university and off the field stuff he's going to get, like, he finna get so endor so many endorsements because he understands how to promote. He can speak at a high level. He's an entertainer. He's prime time. So guess what's gonna happen when a guy that's very witty with his words is not afraid of the cameras. He invites the cameras, and he has two more Hall of Famers on his uh, coaching staff with already good coaches. He got other head coaches on his coaching staff. Now, he's not only going to be able to tell these guys, you're going to get coached by the best, you're going to be coached by Hall of Famers, guys that's already done it on a high level for years and years and years, who who excelled at the high level where y'all trying to go. We, the guys that did it the best are going to be in our locker room. We got all kind of connects with the NFL. But the last thing, I'm going to have y'all on TV the most eyes more people are going to see y'all than people watching nfl games in any other college game in the nation week in and week out y'all ain't understand what i'm telling y'all y'all ain't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth we're about to see something that's never been done and it's going to get even greater 
after his sons are gone. We got two warm up years. At first, I said, but maybe he's going to leave. But now I think these coaches, if he don't have any other medical stuff, I think these other coaches are starting to make it be personal for him. For, before, it was just like, I'm, I'm trying to make sure my kid's in the best possible position. I'm going to try to win these games. And he could have rolled off into the sunset. Now, like he said, I'm starting to get comfortable. It's starting to be his own desire to win games, not just help his kids win. Understand what I'm telling y'all, dog. It's about to get scary. And he about to have a staff that speaks his language on and off the field. Oh, yeah. Y'all, get your popcorn ready, y'all. Get your popcorn ready. Because <laughs> Terrell Owens, Warren Sapp, and Deion Sanders is about to shut it down. And, and it's, it's like it's a glitch in the matrix. This is not supposed to happen. Great players don't supposed to work with each other. Great players are always supposed to be trying to see who the best instead of let one be the head and the other ones be the arms and the feet. They don't normally, it just don't normally happen. Now it's about to happen, and it's about to get real interesting. I can't wait.